Hey, it's Ads. Welcome back to Procrastivate Tech. This is a project that I've wanted to do for quite a while now. Basically, I wanted to create my own little voice box for use in little plush toys. So when you push a button inside them, what it does is it will say something. But I wanted to be able to program my own voices into it. So I could make it say rude things or basically whatever I wanted to. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take some of these cute little Care Bears, and I'm going to make them say mean and hurtful things. But I'm going to put a little twist on this. If anyone remembers the episode of Treehouse of Horrors on The Simpsons, where the Krusty Doll had the good and evil switch, well, I want to show you how to do that today as well. So I found the perfect tool for it. What we're going to do is we're going to create a little voice box, and I'm going to insert it into one of these Care Bears. Let's go. The hardware that we're going to be using is one of the Adafruit Audio FX soundboards. There are a few variants of these uh, with different capacities for storing audio as well as some with built-in amplifiers and some without. The two that I have today are the one with the built-in stereo amplifier and a stereo one without an amplifier. Both of these are two megabyte models. The first schematic that I'm going to show you is the stereo with no amplifier. Probably the main difference here is that other than one having an amplifier is the bigger board also has a total of 11 pins for triggering audio whereas the non-amplified version only has 8. Here is the basic diagram of what we're going to hook up today. First off we'll hook up something to power it so this can take 3 volts to 5.5 volts both the soundboard and the little amplifier chip so I'm just going to use a little battery pack here. Then I'm going to have to hook up some speakers. So in this case, I'm just going to use mono. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the L channel and the ground from the little soundboard onto the amplifier, and then the speaker will connect to the amplifier. Now I'm going to use one of the other features of this soundboard, which is the multiple pins triggering multiple different types of audio. I'll show you how the triggers work a bit later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my button to ground, and then I'm going to hook the other side of the button into this on off on switch. Now what that allows me to do is it allows me to select which pin on the soundboard that the button triggers. So what I can then create is a voice box that allows me to select what kind of mode that it wants to be in. Kind of like that episode of Treehouse of Horrors on The Simpsons with the evil Krusty doll. Yep, here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. So when the switch is in one position, it'll go to pin zero on the soundboard. I'm now switched to nice mode. I really like you. And when the switch is in another position, it'll go to pin one. I'm now switched to rude mode. You're a piece of shit and I hate you. As I said earlier, this board has multiple pins that allow you to trigger different events within the soundboard. Basically, when you load all the files onto the little soundboard, if you name them in a specific way, it will allow you to choose which pin that the audio is triggered on and in what way. Now there are five different modes, but I'm gonna focus on the three that I think matter for this particular project. Now any pin can be set to trigger in any particular way. So don't worry about how I've named them on here. You can have random trigger on any pin. You can have, you can have consecutive trip on any pin. But for this example right now, what I've done is I've got pin zero to trigger just to play the sing this single audio file. I'm now switched to nice mode. I really like you. Pin one is set to random. So if I trigger pin one, it will randomly select one of up to 10 files sitting on the file system. Life, what a fucking nightmare. It gets easier. Eventually you stop giving a fuck. Prioritize your mental health. Avoid people as much as possible. Have a panic attack. You've earned it. And pin two, I have set up to play consecutively. So whenever you push the button, it will play the next file that hasn't been played. Nobody's going to save you. You're the adult. I'm so sorry. Now again, this all depends on how you set the file names when you load the files onto the device. I will leave a link in the description to Adafruit's instructions on how to do this, and that will help you choose the best way to do it. Now let's solder everything together. 
Here I've got my Audio Effects Mini from Adafruit and I've got a little single channel audio amplifier board. So just for this little prototype I'm going to put it all in this crappy little plastic box that I've got from my local Jaycar. I'm just going to drill some holes in it and get it ready so bear with us. Since there's not a lot of room I'm just going to use an external battery pack for the time being but depending on your goals you could certainly make this a lot more optimised and a lot smaller. Got my good and evil switch in. And just a little socket for power. You've seen the diagram so you know how to put it together. I will just quickly skip over the soldering part. And here we have it. I'm now switched to nice mode. I really like you. The completed voice box. I'm now switched to rude mode. You're a piece of shit and I hate you. I'm now switched to nice mode. I really like you. I'm now switched to rude mode. You're a piece of shit and I hate you. To get the voices, I decided I would just use an AI voice generator program. In this case, I decided on Eleven Labs. Now, there's no reason why you couldn't just go ahead and record your own voice clips, but honestly, I didn't really want my voice to be spoken when the bear was pressed. So is cheerfulness or a good temper. The more it is spent, the more remains. Let us always meet each other with smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. We have committed the golden rule to memory. Let us now commit it to life. So after settling on a couple of voices, I decided to record the voice lines. You did the best you could, which is pretty sad. For the negative voice lines, I decided to go with quotes from an Instagram page called Depressing Affirmations. I will leave a link in the description because they are kind of funny in a depressing way. Prioritize your mental health. Schedule your meltdowns in advance. As for the nice quotes, well, I went with basic white bitch quotes. Thank you, Pinterest. Work hard in silence. Let your success be the noise. Once I had them all ready, I gave them all the appropriate names and then I 
loaded them all onto the little voice unit. When you plug in the little Adafruit box, it will come up as a USB device and act basically like any other USB drive. And that's done. Now I've just got to jam this thing inside of our Care Bear. Well, it's done now. So the little pink Care Bear, which is, I don't know what Care Bear this one is, now gives off disappointing affirmations when the switch is in the wrong spot. You are someone's biggest regret. Is it love? Or do you just not feel dead inside? Or if you switch it on the back, it will say nice white girl phrases. Work hard in silence. Let your success be the noise. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.